Hey everybody, call me Felix, and today I am, and this is dad's idea, okay? Let me just reiterate that. This vlog is dad's idea because on Lolito's Pinoy Kitchen, dad cannot cook pancit to save his life. And I don't really like his pancit. So what he did was he enlisted some of the vendors who were cooking pancit canton one time here at the pit dig. What do you call it? Pit dig market, dad? Pit dig market. Let's just call it the pit dig market. Okay. Um... So he, he saw that there were vendors last week cooking pancit, and so this is what we have here. <laughs> so we have different types. I think this is pancit, subtanghon, and um, canton put together, right? Mixed. Okay. So I'm going to show you the rest of the market because this is like dad's commissary where he comes every day to buy our ingredients and how he cooks and so on. So I'll show you the rest of the market, but... I'll dive in right into the pancit, um, and then I'll show you how it is made in a bit. But I'm going to do this opposite. I'm going to do taste testing first, and then I'll show you the recipe later. <laughs> do it the counterintuitive way. Okay, I want to make sure I get a good bite of everything. So, a bunch of, you can see here, so tanghon and canton noodle. I got some me that big fish ball. So, Dad... This is an upgraded pancit, by the way. So that did chip in for ingredients. A bunch of fatty pork loin here. And a big, like, medallion-sized fish balls. So I will try this bit. Here you go. Okay, that's really good. Um, the number one thing that I dislike about pancit is that it, it, when you leave a bunch of sauce in the bottom, it's too saucy. This does not have that. So all the bouillon, all the soy sauce, it goes straight into the noodles so it's a very smooth texture the number one thing i always don't like about pancit is texture and the texture is perfect here the name of the it's, it's really smooth and the fish ball does not taste fishy just nice fish um freshness i think and the right consistency not too airy not too dense so that's really good. And the other thing is, all the ingredients are good proportion too. Not too much vegetable, not too much meat. And then the noodles are cooked well. So I don't... And there's a little sourness too. There's a little bit of pancit, right? Yeah. Let's just say it is. I got a little bit of a sour edge, like a citrusy sour edge. There's some of that pork right there. They put a bunch of pork here, like fatty pork. And then some lean pork. So you can see that at the very beginning. So here you go. So I added a little more calamansi. Just to kind of complete that. Because there was just a little edge. But not too noticeable. I don't think you want it to drown too th with the calamansi personally. Because the soy sauce is, or the oyster sauce here is not coming on too strong. Which is good. So then everything's already in balance. So I don't think you want to put way too much calamansi. We're going to cook pancit for breakfast. It's not too heavy for breakfast. Yeah. But for lunch too. Yeah. Yeah, but this is Oh one. boy. Look at the echo trimmings. They have fish ball. They have fish ball. Fish ball. They have meat. Pork. And vegetables. Look here. Oh, this Just is like fish. This.
That's the real fun thing. That's Two it. types of noodles. So by the way everyone, uh everybody so typically they they don't serve prepared food inside the market. So this is just between the vendors here. This is their breakfast and lunch. Wow. Not you, you didn't do anything. <laughs> but dad had made a special request. Of course, because dad doesn't know how to make pancit or do it that well. So he had us do a recipe video here. Well, not to the letter, of course. So thanks especially to Chef Cheryl for today, right? Chef Cheryl? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's camera is shy. So you know how they say like Filipinos love being on camera? Not up here in New Locos. That's not true. <laughs> but yeah. So I'll show you the rest of the market after this. But we're going to share this big pot of fun set. All right, everyone, that's all the pancit that's left. And I've left it all for the vendors to share the remaining because I want them to taste this because it's a premium pancit that dad helped chip in to cook, right? So they should all get a fair taste of it. All right, we're going to go to the rest of the market, aren't we, dad? Yeah, go ahead. Man. No, you're going to have to show me the tour, dad. Yeah, that's Mr. Tour Guide. They, ha they have the same, man. They're the same. Oh, okay. They have the same all right, in a bit, everyone. Okay, the first thing I'm eager to show you is this. Thanks, man. That's what I was trying to explain. <laughs> okay. So, you notice that there are big Wilkins water bottles and Coke bottles here. That's unfortunately not Coke. I found out the, the hard way long ago that it's really rice wine vinegar. Or I should say, 
basi y ilocano vinegar yeah because it has that very distinctive um uh, how should i say i forgot what it tastes like but um it just tastes like really sweet vinegar you're like first it tastes like coke a little bit and then oh no it's so it's sour yikes it's like a bunch of dry spices lots of vinegar I always fond of these vinegar with little radishes on top so dad is preoccupied with talking about other random stuff with the vendor so it's up to me to show you the rest of this so there's a lot of vegetables here pretty much almost all this side is purely vegetables so dad's secret as to why he's still young is because he eats bitter melon leaves Saluyot is your jute leaves. They actually eat this in like Arab countries and in India. So it's a lot more universal than you think. There's some Indian style little bitter gourd. Sitao green beans. Of course there's lots of eggplant. Little kind of love their eggplant too. And they also have these little types of eggplant. Big okra. And of course you get your usual stuff that you get. The what you would call the traditional vegetables. There's ceiling labuyo if you want it too, but generally people can't handle their spice and I think I've proved that many times on the blog. Except uh Warren and Angela. I think Warren and Angela are like above average now. Lots of ginger. Same old thing in every single aisle. And then from here, this is the fruit aisle. Unfortunately, it looks like they only have bananas. And then sometimes you have mangoes. Mangoes are definitely in season right now. It's about April. Sometimes you get Chico. That's one of Dad's favorite fruits. Um... Now, they don't have durian here because nobody eats durian. So you always have to go to Lawag for, to get durian. And it looks like a lot of condiments over here. Lots and lots of condiments. Brightly colored for you. How many different types of magic syrup are there? Uh, I don't know. They're colors of the rainbow, I guess. So this is the entire floor of the pit dig market. Oh, vegetables and fruits and condiments. And then on the back, in the back rooms, you have fish all the way over there. And then all the way over there is meat. All right, so then here are the eggs. They have these massive crates. You definitely see people like with zip ties buying like two or three trays of eggs. That's very typical for here. And that's going to show you the fishiest part of the market. So what type of fish do we ever get here? That looks like that. This is catfish or ito. It looks like bangos. It's like tilapia. Then they have these filleted bangos or filleted milk fish. They're really good for frying. Where are we, Dad? Sea bass. That is not sea bass, Dad. You mean this thing? I know. That's what you use for escabeche, though, right, Dad? Okay, there are some mussels on that side. You actually get pretty good mussels for a place like Pit Dig, which is more landlocked. What are you thinking? Ugh, there's squid. And of course, this is where you get where Warren got his squid to do his recipe. More of the same, I think. Yes, more of the same. Tilapia and such. But some, sometimes, I don't know if we get exotic stuff here, like... Mmm... Exotic stuff like big prawns. We don't really get that. So I just walked past this little bin here. Not so little bin really. These fish are still moving. Still fresh from the river. Whoa. So this is the meat section, but because it's Monday, Dad explained, there's not a ton of meat yet. So later in the week there will be. Yeah, I think that's about wraps up our time here at the Pit Dig Market. This entire second floor here in the center of Pit Dig. Uh, time to exit. So, and 
they have an entry and exit stair they're not the same so if you like this video please give a thumbs up uh better yet please subscribe for more food and travel related adventures and keep cool but carry and remember the empire never ended